Okay, so here we go. Um, yeah, baby. <laughs> I like that <laughs> dramatic look. Um, this is the Get You Some Productions podcast, a podcast covering all things related to music production from the first note to the last fan and everything in between. My name is Keith. My name is Daniel. Yo. Uh, every episode or I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. Many episodes are actually interviews nowadays, but um, sometimes we do business meetings. That's what today is going to be. Um, just me and Dan just chit chatting a little bit. Um, the first thing that you want to do is um, if you like this show, even if you don't like it, you should go and click like and subscribe and leave a rating and review. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. <laughs> Listen to Dan. Okay. This is like, we should put subliminal messages in. You like um, us. So you're going to like us. You know why? Because we're two like goofy dudes. And who doesn't like some goofy dudes? Um, oh, yeah. So the other thing is, so the normal podcast stuff is the like, rating, review, all that junk. And then the other thing that we want you to do is click the link in our show notes, the Reverb link, we are affiliated with Reverb.com, which is a, an online marketplace for music gear and other stuff. Um, it's a fun place to browse and you can go in there and buy stuff. And we get a small commission if you go and buy stuff. And actually, even if you go and sign up for the first time on the website, I think we get a commission for that as well. Although they did change their policy, so I'm not 100% on that. But anyway, Reverb.com. We are affiliates of Reverb.com, so we appreciate it. If you decide to buy any musical equipment, you click the link, and it helps us out. No additional cost to you. Yay. So, Dan, Yay. the first thing is that I wanted to talk to you about was that I really actually, we hadn't had a podcast in a while. This is episode 90. Wow. We're coming up on 100 episodes. The last episode was Michelle Green. So I have a confession, actually. We did an episode in the interim with Andy. Yeah. And I had it on recorded, the audio recorded in the Anchor, which is actually was bought by Spotify. And then it became Spotify for podcasters. And I didn't realize that when they converted to the new platform, they would delete all data that wasn't saved in a podcast. So when we recorded that <clears throat> recording, I saved it in the in the in the in my I guess I should email them and find out if I can pull up any old data. But and I will you say do that. it got deleted. It got, it got deleted. I fucked up. <laughs> so we did a podcast for no reason unless I can have them unless I, ha I can have them pull it up again. Um, and, or, um, you know, uh, whatever you call it, um, you know, if maybe they saved it for a time being or something, but, um, I was, I knew the conversion was happening, but I didn't understand what the terms were. So the podcasts that I saved there were saved, but, but any audio that I saved in there, in my, in my, um, um, you know, archive or something that I had saved, but wasn't associated with any other podcasts with any, any episodes was automatically deleted. And that includes um, that podcast, unfortunately. So it's a bummer. Um, and it was all about the, um, the grant writing and stuff. <coughs> so um, I don't know, you know, if we can do, we can talk about it again now and just get a, get ourselves back on the zone and maybe and just kind of like reorient and then go back down that path because I still think the grant writing thing was a good idea. Um, or we can talk about, um, you know, something else. Well, let's talk. About, I think we should talk, keep it short today. Yeah. Uh, just because we want to do a short one today. I wanted to talk about the exciting new animation. Yeah. Yeah. For productions and that. Yeah. Yeah. Should we? Well, it's I'm good. So this will be the first episode that has the animation in the front. So awesome. I'm going. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to say this. This episode, I'm going to put the. I'm now. I'm not going to do any fancy editing or any like. 
um, you know, like, like a, like, I'm not going to do a wipe or anything like that. I don't really know how to do that stuff. I think yeah, I, probably I was going to say, why, why, why aren't you going to do something fancy, Keith? Because <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Okay, there. But, <laughs> but I am going <laughs> to slap them together very crudely. And um, I'm going to slap them together crudely. And then, um, you know, I got caught on that phrase for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then um, we're gonna, people are going to see that we actually have an intro, a little semi-professional looking intro for the first time. And this is episode 90. So we finally got around to making ourselves look a little bit more professional than we have in the past. Mm -hmm. So that's that. That's that. That's great. Yeah. So what, what did you want to say about that? Do you want me to try to pull um, up the animation and see if I can share a screen and no, we can no, show no. people or no, I mean, I can show I it just, to you again. Uh, I just, uh, no, I saw it and, uh, I'm just really excited. I feel like it definitely elevates things and, mm -hmm. um, it's so awesome. Uh, the resources out there available for production, you know, um, mm -hmm. is just, uh, it was impressive. So, Dude, well, if we get, if we start making money or if we get that grant that, that the option to make little avatars of ourselves like fall out of the sky. And then did you see the description? I had a back and forth with the person on yeah. Fiverr and they were like, well, here's what's going to happen. They're going to be there. The little avatar like um, it was a um, the one I selected was um, the Grand Theft Auto style avatar. Yeah. And um, it's basically like a simple avatar. <laughs> and then it just like they just animate the arm and they said, oh, the, it'll just the, like the avatars will drop in then guitars will drop out of the sky and then the arms will move. And that's like, that was like $300. You yeah. Know, well, actually in the grand scheme of things is not that much, but I, you know, we can't, uh, we can't justify that yeah. at the time at, in the moment, but. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, we'll get, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely <laughs> will get there. <laughs> so, yeah. So I guess since if we're just doing like, kind of like a, what's going on right now with us, yeah. The, the main other thing that that's sort of semi business related is that I have four people or I think four people who yeah. reached out from Bard yeah, who exactly. want to do podcasts. So that's the next thing that I was going to do is respond to one of those people. All right. And um, and just say, hey, um, we're ready to move forward. This is my cell phone. <laughs> Text mm -hmm. me here so that um so that i can loop in dan and then we can schedule and we can do the interview great um so you know that's the next step cool so t tell me about what you've uh, learned about these four you know, these well four people. yeah can you still see me right now i can um So there's a lady named Julia Morin, and she's actually, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> they have a band called Nephew Cube, which is a fusion of jazz, rock, Middle Eastern, and Neo Soul. They formed in 2018. They've been playing around New York, and they sent over, oh, you know what, actually, by the way, so I responded to them and cop and BCC'd you. So Julia Morin and her band Nephew Cube is one choice. And that's um, jazz, rock, Middle Eastern, etc. There's somebody named Terrence, Terrence Boylan. This person is a late 60s, early 70s person. So they're kind of like, um, they're kind of like, uh, you know, old timers. This person's album is from 1968, an MGM album, Alias Buna. Now, I actually responded to this guy. Hey, send me a link so we can check out your album. And he never responded. So, okay. we're, so he's an easy person to put on the back burner. I'll just respond and say, hey, man, we want you on the podcast, but you send us a recording. So at least we can get, um, we can yeah. get um, uh, familiar with your stuff. There's another person called Saint Uno who is a hip hop artist from Atlanta. And he, mm -hmm. uh, 
I get, you know, it's hard to tell if this person is, I think it's a he. Um, they. How about that? We'll do they, them for now, okay? Yeah, they, they would love to be on the show and did send us a bunch of links, but um, I didn't watch any of the stuff yet. Okay. Uh, links to a bunch of videos and stuff. It looks cool. And I, and I copied you on the reply, so you should be able to see that. And then there's okay. another, and then the, the fourth person, her name is Katarzyna Sade or Sadej. Um, and she is actually a, an opera singer, but she makes her own, her vocal only music using only her voice and she layers sounds and vocal colors. And she just released her latest album. She just released her first album. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> well, I know which one I'm most interested in. Yeah, who? Uncle Cube or. Uncle. Uh, say, no, no you're cousin, Cube, cousin Cube cousin or what was it? Uncle. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uncle. Nephew Cube. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's the. Uncle okay. Cube. <laughs> Uncle Q. No, that's it. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, only because uh, I, I like the sound of that, um, that fusion. Yeah. And uh, one of the things being fused was rock, which I like playing myself. Yeah. So, um, so we'll I go with something. Order, yeah, in order of interest, I'm... Uh, interested in that band okay um uh second place would be i think the uh acapella uh opera singer okay um because that sounds just really really artistic and out there okay um and then um saint uno uh, saint which uno, is the hip-hop which is the hip-hop which is also interesting um mm -hmm. And uh, and then and then in last place is it's just the uh, the other one just because whatever hasn't because responded. It, yeah because we don't have anything to go on. We don't have anything to go on, but um, I mean all three of those first three sound interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but uh, that first one really piqued my interest, especially with the um, the Middle Eastern. Yeah, me too. Uh, that's cool. I'm in here because um, I, I like that stuff. So, uh, um, yeah, that's just my two cents. Mm -hmm. I would go. With any, I would honestly go with anyone who's just up for like just available. But yeah. Uh, well, uh, you, maybe maybe what I'll New York. do. They're playing in New York too, so that's kind of like a. I could um, theoretically go see them play if I wanted to, yeah. if I had time for that. I, I mean, maybe I will um cool all right so let's do that actually you know what yeah. just given the fact that it's so hard to schedule with people anyway i'm probably just going to reply yeah. to all of them anyway yes yes <laughs> Ab oh absolutely absolutely that's just my like my first uh you know just hearing them all lined up like that that was my first impression totally that, totally absolutely. let's see whoever's ready whoever steps up first is good to go we just yeah because and i hope we get a lot more because for i'm actually curious you know tyler from Bard, he emailed all the Bard people. Yeah. And so I'm, we got four responses. I'm actually curious to know how many people were actually on the Bard musician list. Right. You know? <laughs> and I think just while I'm thinking about it, because, you know, a lot of times the podcast right now, like us talking, is a lot of times like when I think of things and then when I listen back to do the show notes, it helps me figure out things that I need to do. What I should do also is reply to each of them and tell them that uh, they should reach out to any of their friends who are also Bard alumni, alumni and have them reach out and, and feel free to share the Get You Some Productions at Gmail. Um, so that yeah 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 because we need you know we just need to have a good roster and an ongoing you know stream of people to yep. to chat with all right cool all right so we got our i got my marching orders and we did a show and we celebrated our intro 
and we'll get to see yeah, what yeah, it looks yeah. like when the thing pops in. Awesome. And then, you know. <sighs> cool, dude. All right, dude. And um, awesome. yes, for a little, uh, you want to do um, after dinner, you around tonight? Do a quick chat. Yeah, yeah, I'm around. All right, awesome, yeah. dude. I'll hit you okay. up later. All right, dude. Yeah, call me. All right, peace. Later, man.